Cactus and Succulent Growers, I'm Lynn. Welcome to Desert Plants of Arvland in the north of Ireland. And in today's video, I'm going to be separating a hanging basket of a poro cactus. And uh, I've got three different types of a poro cacti in this uh, bowl here, or if you can call it a bowl, hanging basket that is growing a little bit, that is sort of misshapen because it needs, these need, plants need to come out. And this is a poro cactus flagliformis, commonly known as the rat's tail cactus because of its long hanging trailing stems that, that are like a rat's tail, but it has beautiful pink flowers in the spring and summer. And this is desperate for a repot. This one here is my poro cactus malisoni. And this is one that came from my, my mother plant that sadly died a few years ago because I just, I don't know what happened to it. It just got sickly, but I managed to save some cuttings. And that has beautiful red flowers in the spring and summer as well. Then here, this is a, this is a Poro Helioserius. All these different types of a Poro cacti. A Poro Helioserius. And this also has beautifully pink flowers as well. A little bit like the um, a Poro, a Poro cactus flagliformis. So three different types. And I've also got a crassula that fell in here by mistake and has, has long taken root and looks disgusting as you can see so that's going to be coming out and uh, this also needs a bit of a prune in here so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video quite a bit of work to separate them and I'm going to be then putting them into three little individual hanging baskets so here is the cactus hanging hanging uh, arrangement and uh, as I say, there's three different types of the uh, poro type of cacti in here and a rather unruly sort of crassula type of succulent, which I'm going to be taking out there. And uh, first of all, this one is a poro cactus flagliformis, commonly known as the rat's tail cactus. And uh, this is a actually a beautiful cactus that produces gorgeous bright pink flowers in the summer, spring and summertime. And I think this deserves its own little hanging basket. It's grown a lot since I had it. And these three I actually put into the same hanging basket because they were much smaller, but they've grown quite a lot since. So they're going to love having their own individual pots, hanging baskets. This one here is a Poa Cactus Malisoni. And this is all I got left that from my main mother plant that was an absolutely gorgeous hanging basket. It was beautiful and it just got some virus and died back. I managed to save these, a cutting from it many few years ago and uh, this was the original cutting and it's sort of branched out at the base since so I'm really happy I've got that this is one that produces lovely red flowers and this one here is Helio um, Heli Aporo, Aporo Helio Serious and uh, it's a cross between um, Hilo Serious and obviously a Poro cactus as well so this one also has pinky flowers very beautiful and uh, just show you here it is might look similar to the other Aporo cactus but it's got more wider the the areoles with the spines are more wider apart this one is much more tighter this one is the most common one in collections Aporo cactus flagliformis so now I have to work out how the hell I'm going to get these out of this hanging basket that is obviously all rotten and um, it's one of these wooden hanging baskets so I've got a little trowel, trowel here that I'm going to be getting into and then separating them apart. Now hopefully guys if you've got one of these cactus bowl arrangements or hanging baskets and you want to know how to separate them you'll learn a few tips from this from this video and uh, obviously I've got one of these trials because I can't get it out any other way so I'm going to see if I can scoop Oh, underneath loosen up the soil round the sides first and it's going to be interesting to see what the the roots are like on this first of all I should take these labels out obviously right, so what's that and then loosen it up see if I can scoop these out it's going to be pretty difficult because obviously when you have a plastic pot you can squeeze the sides but with this I probably have to just if I can't get it, oh, it's going to come out. I was going to say I may have to break down the wood. I won't be reusing this hanging basket anyway. Yay, it's coming out okay. Scoopy scoop. So I'll just turn this back so you can see a bit more what I'm doing. Scooping this out. Yep. Wow. Yeah, got it out of the basket anyway. All this awful plastic that's stuck on the sides. 
so that honey basket as you can see it's no good not suitable anymore so I'm taking that aside and now I've got the task of having to take off this here it's plastic now the trouble is when you're growing the plants all together in a in a hanging basket is the separating of them because I have to be very careful when I separate these these three here and obviously I'm going to take the succulent out put that up separate another times very gently just want to pull this away make sure that you can really see what I'm doing so here we go and obviously you want to loosen the root ball now these this one this these plants haven't been watered yet at all since uh, since September time so the soil is all dry and I'm going to be potting them up in dry soil as well and I'll show you what soil I'm using will this come away easy enough I'm not sure it's, it's so loosening up the root ball here oh yep happy days that's the first one that's the Aparo cactus malisoni and great little root system there so no problem so that's going to have its own little pot so I can put that one here that's great and then separating these now hopefully I should be able to do the same with yep yay that's the one that's the uh, flaggly for me so power cactus flaggly for me is there so again I'm not going to try and disturb these roots too much I'm using going to be putting them up into the same soil I've used anyway with this so that one can also be put aside now um, this one is actually one that fell off the flaggly for me so cut in and that's well taken root and these are all new little seg stem segments and what's amazing is this is one that actually fell off the Aparo cactus flaggly for me so I just literally last summer I just stuck it on top of the hanging basket and it's rooted at the bottom there not at the base it's rooted there so these when you take these as cuttings these uh, rat's tail cacti you can even leave them just on the side and they will root as well it's quite amazing now this one has got this one is the um, Aporo, Aporo Helio Serious and uh, this one has got the succulent with it so I have to take that out so this one is quite more tougher I think to separate so I'm going to have to loosen up the roots here to separate these two yay I think it's coming away now yes oh yay and this succulent is quite uh, not the most attractive so I'm going to be potting that up another time and pruning that back as well it's sort of grown into a little tree sort of nice in its own little way but I'll leave that for now focus on the um, the rat's tails as they're called so here that's the uh, Aporo Helio Serious separated and again great little root system there happy days so I'm going to push all this old soil away and I often get people say to me, can I use the old soil when I'm repotting cacti? Well, if the soil is pretty much okay, you can reuse it again. Just bear in mind that as long as there's no pests or anything like that in the soil, if you're repotting. And also old soil will have lost a lot of its nutrients. So if you're reusing soil, I'd recommend probably sterilising it for a few minutes in the microwave to let the soil pipe in hot and then cool down and reuse it and also bear in mind that you need to add a bit more extra nutrients into the soil because soil soon uh, would lose nutrients if you're reusing it again up. but I'm using fresh soil with these anyway because this soil has long been used up so that's the three separated I can pop that one with this one and now I'm going to pop them up into the little pots Now I've got the three pots ready. I've got a slightly wider pot there for this, um, the flaggly form is because it's more of a wider root, root stock and uh, two of the smaller square pots here. I thought I could put the flaggly form in another square pot but no, it's going to need a wider pot. So I put a bit of soil in there and the soil mix I've used. Now I normally like to use a, a cactus type of soil with a lot of my cacti but this time I'm going to use pretty much similar to what I used last time I've got a little bit more loam in here and I've used perlite instead of grit and that's because these cacti are slightly more epiphytic so they'll be fine with it with the perlite and um, fine with the loam normally if I was repotting a desert cacti I'd be using extra sand and grit as well but these will be fine with this because they do like to have a lot bit more water in than the average desert cacti does 
So uh, here we go. I'm going to be placing that, the great roots, into there like that. And now I'm going to be uh, putting the soil around. So I'll just bring up the soil here. And then pushing this down the sides here. Tap the pot, and uh, what I'll do, I'll get this little container, saving and bending back and forth. Ha! <laughs> so there we go. A bit down the sides there. I think they're going to love this fresh repot, and it's just good to give them their own pot as well, because when they were small, they were fine potted up together in the hanging basket, but going to be better with the more root space. I'd like to push the soil down the sides and giving it a tap like that helps to make sure the soil gets all, all down to the edges. use a blunt end of a back of a spoon handle there just to make sure it's all pressed down as well. That's it, one happy poro cactus flagly formis rat's tail and then I've got the label somewhere, somewhere underneath all this soil. Oh, I'm such a mess guys. Anyway, I'll find it when I'm doing that. I know what it is so I'll put that down here once done and then the next one I will put poro cactus mali. Melissa Noni, and that one can go here again. Great little root system, as you can see. In there, place that in, and then this one is probably the most spiniest out of all of them. Getting the soil down the sides here. Give it under the little tap and then a press down with the spoon handle again. So I'm going to thrive and I'm so happy that I'm getting on with a lot of my repottings earlier this year because once the summer comes I get very 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 busy not only with the plants but with work and everything like that trying to fit everything in it's a bit of a dilemma so any spare time I have now I get Got onto the repottings earlier. Happy days, so that's the Malisoni. And then the last one is the Aporo Helio. Aporo Helio uh, Serious. That's it. Look at the root system on that, guys. My gosh, isn't it just awesome? This probably won't last long in this pot before it needs another bigger one as well. So put that down there. The power helio serious all potted up as well now I'm just left with this the little cutting that rooted on its side and rather than pot it in with the mother plant I'm going to find a little pot to pot that one up and give it its own its own little pot now I've potted up the little individual cutting that I rooted on its side so that's got its own little pot there probably won't put this one in a hanging basket because it's still quite not really hanging enough so I can put that on the table with the other cacti. So I'm just going to clear up all of this mess now. But I love making a mess when I'm potting up. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you putting them into the hanging baskets. So that's them in the little hanging baskets. And this is what they, they look like right when they're hanging. So it's going to be great. I've got them all into three individual baskets. And I'm going to hang them up then in the polytunnel. And I'm going to keep them dry for probably another three weeks before I start watering all of the cacti. I water them all at the same time in the polytunnel. And it means they've had a chance just to settle into the new soil 
and uh, pots before watering. So I've got the labels here. Pyrocactus flagelliformis. That's that one there. A para Poroheliocereus hybrid, I think it's called Pink Florida, and that's that one. And then a Porocactus Malisoni, that's that one. Happy days! So I hope you enjoyed the little separation video, now all three potted up individually in the little hanging baskets will have a chance to thrive over the spring and summer. And if you haven't done already, then don't forget to subscribe, do click that notification bell. And you can also follow me on Insta, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus powered day.